Hey everyone, welcome back to Mini Bike Mike's Garage. So, if you've been around for a while, you know that a few months ago I picked up a couple Honda CT70 clones, uh, Chinese copies of a CT70, brand new bikes, 125 cc's. Uh, I bought an Ice Bear Champion and an Amigo Rocky, kind of did some comparisons. The bike you're looking at is the Ice Bear Champion. Uh, I put a couple hundred miles on this bike and then got a wild hair to see what I would need to do to turn this bike into a replica of a Honda CT70. Now, the Ice Bear Champion, the one I got, came in black, so I decided to keep the frame black. And since 1978 models of CT70s were black, that's what I'm trying to turn it into is a 1978 Honda CT70 or a replica of one. Now it's not going to be spot on. Um, there'll be some subtle differences, but from, you know, quick glance, it'll look pretty close. So one of the first things I had to do was got rid of the original uh, key latch that used to be here. And I drilled a hole and put a, put a seat latch and put an original style seat on it. Hmm, I don't remember if that's exactly a 78 seat or a 77 seat. I can't really remember. Um, put some aftermarket but stock looking signals on. They're not mounted in the correct spot the way the 78s were, but I, I didn't have a bracket to put them on there correctly. 78 tail light and bracket. I uh, got a TB. 422 trail buddy harness in there because i'm going to put a life and engine in it uh, i haven't cleaned up the wiring but using the original ice bear shocks uh, the frame the swing arm i did there was a, a big tag right here similar to this small tag on the ice bear and i popped it off it was riveted and i welded in the holes i saved a couple of the holes to put that grab handle on Obviously, 78 decals. The newer model bikes don't have the same uh, uh, shape here, so my badge sticks over a little bit, but it is what it is. It's not trying to be perfect. This is the front forks off of the Ice Bear Champion, so one of the things I will be retaining off of that bike is the disc brake. You can see here, so it, I had to keep these forks to have the mount for the disc brakes. Um, but I did get some used, or I had some used fork gears. I believe they were actually off of a 79 and a headlight. And there again, I got the aftermarket signals to bolt onto there. I used the reflectors from the Ice Bear Champion back on those. I'm going with the uh, two inch taller bars that I think Trail Buddy sells, th sells those. The thing I don't have is a speedometer. Got the bracket and everything, but I have not, I have not got a good speedometer, one of the round ones that fit these, um, what is that, the K1 through whenever, 79, I guess. So if you have a speedometer, you want to sell it to me, let me know. I'd be happy to, to buy one off of you. Uh, I'm just now noticing I did not paint the uh, hinge for the seat. So I'll have to pull that seat back off of there and paint that. But, uh, you know, I've got the 4x10 tires on there. And they're just used. If uh, this turns out really nice, I may pull off the tires and put some new rubber on it. Uh, I got one of the rims that's got a bend in it, too. It doesn't seem to affect the way it spins. It rolls true. But uh, I, did have, I got a bent rim on the lip. Um, I don't have a full set of 78 hand controls that are in good shape. I've got a good left one, but not a good right one. So I'm going to go real simple. Since I'm using the, um, the disc brake and it comes with a reservoir and a brake sensor and all that. So I'll use that lever will be up on the right side for the front brake. And then I'm just going to put a simple throttle over there. And I'm going to use the start button on it as a kill button. And then on the left side, I've got this switch that is a turn signal. If I can get it in the light so you can see it, right? See, there's a right and a left. And then it has a horn button. So what you don't see is a headlight. 
switch. So I think I'm just going to wire the headlight and taillight direct. And when the bike's running, the headlight will be on. Headlight and taillight will be on. Probably just wire it straight to the low beam. Not even have a high-low switch since I don't have room on the handlebars. Or I don't have another switch. These are awfully long. I may wind up cutting these. We'll see. So... Obviously, I haven't filmed a lot of uh, what I've been doing on this bike. Apologize about that, but you know, I just feel like sometimes you guys you know see the same thing over and over. So I thought I'd just kind of speed through. Probably from this point going forward, I will film the bike, uh, putting the engine in it, you know, hooking the wires up, putting the hand controls. I'm just going to go with an aftermarket exhaust. I think I might have a decent 78 style cover, the shield. So we may change out the shield. I know the exhaust, I don't have a good exhaust, but I do have a shield. I think so I, I might just have to repaint the black insert part, but we're gonna put a cradle on it. We'll probably keep the, um, the ice bear foot pegs and brake pedal. I gotta put the horn on. I may, we may keep that center stand, we'll see. 78 didn't have one, but like I said, I'm not trying to make it perfect. Just trying to make it look close, so. Anyway, that's an update. In a week or so, when I get another chance to work on it, I'll probably bring you guys along and we'll try and finish this thing up. But guys, appreciate you uh, watching and subscribing. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next video.